Hello YouTubers out there, this is Jerry Sutterby at the Movies. Most of my time is not really spent reviewing other reviews of movies, although I do read reviews of other movies. Generally after I see a film, I write down my thoughts quickly, then I organize them later on after I read other people's reviews and then check the plot summary to make sure I get most of the details right in my mind anyway about a film I've just seen. So, but one thing I will tell you is that when it comes to critics, I always, for the most part, particularly with recent critics, and only some of them, because I only read some reviews uh, from certain critics, A.O. Scott, Michael Phillips, Rex Reed, um, of course, Roger Ebert is not around anymore, but uh, I've read a few. And I generally remember what it is that they've said about certain films from the past, what they've, what their thoughts were. Rex Reed is one of those people that you always remember, at least I do anyway, and I have one of his books, and I've been reading his reviews since the 1980s, back when he used to be uh, on the New York Post. Now he writes for the New York Observer. So I usually remember what it is that he says uh, about a film. Now, let me just backtrack a little bit. About two years ago, a friend of mine told me in New York, um, I live in Baltimore, so I'm not always privy to the New York Post or any of the publications, uh, the newspapers rather, that come out in New York City on a daily basis. Uh, I used to be, but not anymore. So the Daily News, New York Post. Anyway, I guess it was a rumor, and it might have been printed in one of those papers, I'm not sure, but my friend told me that there's a possibility that Rex Reed is using a ghost writer for his reviews, that he is not actually writing them. He may send out little details uh, or um, ask somebody to uh, you know transcribe what it is that he's saying but he's not actually writing them so generally I look at his reviews and lately and I thought you know it looks like it's being written by somebody that's trying to be Rex Reed now I could be wrong but I would be sure that Rex Reed himself remembers what it is that he said about certain movies just from the last 10-15 years. In particular, The Fight Club. Now, Fight Club was a film that Rex Reed picked as the worst film of 1999. And if you want proof, here it is. This is what Rex Reed said about Fight Club back then. A film without a single redeeming quality, which may have to find its audience in hell. But he did pick it as the worst film of 1999. So, Rex Reed reviewed Gone Girl. Now what's the connection? Gone Girl and Fight Club are both directed by David Fincher. So for the review of uh, Gone Girl, Rex Reed writes in uh, parentheses at least twice. He says, I hated his girl with a dragon tattoo but I usually like the negativity in the dark, clammy, subterranean ozone where Mr. Fincher bases his creepiest films. Those three films being Seven, Fight Club, and the uniquely original Curious Case of Benjamin Button. There's something else wrong with this sentence. Girl with the Dragon Tattoo, the remake, uh, he reviewed, uh, I guess now what is it, two, three years ago, and he gave it two and a half stars. He actually preferred it over the book, which he said was uh, pretentious, that's a word he likes to throw out quite often, and uh, over the uh, European film version, uh, the first adaptation of the book. So he didn't hate the film, he gave it two and a half stars. He said, it's not my thing, but, and he did have a few positive things to say. It Hated and two and a half stars are two different things. If you hate a movie and you're going to give a star rating like he does, it would be one star maybe a star and a half. Two stars and a half doesn't mean you hated it. So, but he says in there, he says uh, that this film doesn't measure up to the more creepier films, Seven, Fight Club, and Curious Case of Benjamin Button. Now, I don't know if he liked Seven back in 1995, I can't say. But that's rather an odd thing to say. Um, I think somewhere else in the review, he did mention Fight Club again, and I'm trying to find it, but of course, now I can't. But basically, uh, he seems like he's 
favoring Fight Club. Now, this could be just a mistake, but if he likes the negativity in the dark, clammy, subterranean zone, that like, what does like mean? It means you like it. <laughs> that doesn't mean you find it negative. You like the atmosphere he develops. And he mentions these three films, Seven, Fight Club, and A Curious Case of Benjamin Button. So, uh, of course, he might have forgotten what it is that he did say about it, but I think if he picked it as the worst film of the year 15 years ago, uh, he wouldn't really have nice things to say about it nowadays. Unless, of course, he's, and, and I, I'm not trying to make fun of the man, he might be suffering from a, some Alzheimer, Alzheimer's, or whatever, or nobody's really doing the fact checking if they're ghost writing his reviews. So there is that possibility. Um, interesting little point Rex Reed, uh, when he put down Melissa McCarthy about a year ago uh, and put her down because of her weight, not because of the movie she was in, although he didn't like the movie, I, I believe it was Identity Thief, he was going to defend his position. On, uh, I think he did it in an interview, but then he was going to go on The View, uh, my favorite daytime talk show. And he was going to defend his uh, review, uh, or his uh, opinion, and um, he said he couldn't make it. Uh, this was something Whoopi Goldberg had said while they were live. He was supposed to arrive, and he didn't. So, I don't know. I'm just saying that I think that even 15 years ago is not that long ago. I'm, I would understand if he wouldn't remember films he reviewed 50, 40 years ago, what his initial thoughts were. Uh, I can understand that he sees a lot of movies, and he goes to a lot of uh, Broadway musicals and plays and so on. So, um, But 15 years ago, the film you picked as the worst film of that year, you probably wouldn't admire the atmosphere of that movie. You hated the movie, but he didn't hate Girl with a Dragon Tattoo, and that only came out a couple to three years ago. So... I'm not saying he does have a ghost writer, I'm just saying it's quite possible that he does. Who knows? I don't know. We shall see. But, uh, you know, I've read Rex Reed for a long time, and this is just an unusual thing for him to say, uh, if he really hates something, uh, particularly Fight Club. So, uh, you know, that same year he also put down Magnolia, Eyes Wide Shut, uh, basically a lot of films that I liked that he hated, but being John Malkovich. So anyway, that's all I got to say about that. This is Jerry Saravia at the Movies. With your host, Jerry Saravia, signing off.